Okay, welcome to the SRT2 practical exam. In this exam, we're going to work on the ULXD rack as well as the IAM rack. This first video is going to be a wiring of everything and batteries and all that. First thing we need to do is get some batteries and we need to battery up the ULXD and the PSM1000. Sure, this is all sure. Um, I want to grab some fresh batteries. Hey, let's just spend a second talking about our, our wireless charger here. There's a... Um, most of you are already familiar with this if you're watching this, but obviously this is where we put our batteries and charge them. And I just wanted to point out there are three different colors that the LEDs on this can illuminate as. We have green telling us that these batteries in here are fully charged. We have red telling us that the batteries are in the process of being charged. And uh, if you look carefully over here, and I don't know if the phone is going to let us see that, but... Yeah, you probably could. That was my finger. But if we get in there, you can actually see some batteries are not fully charged. And you also see the word error flashing. And that error corresponds with this ugly orange-ish yellow flashing LED. And that is telling you that the person before you, or maybe it was you, put the battery in backwards. So flip the battery around. Nothing should be flashing. And everything should either be red or green. All right, cool. I'm going to grab these two batteries here. They were green a moment ago, and we're going to use those to battery up our ULXD. Let's look at that up here. So ULXD, let's start with the obvious one, the stick mic, super easy. So heads up, the stick mic might either have a 58 head or it might have a KSM9 head. Both of those, they're actually interchangeable. You can unscrew them, and we have a box with some alternates. We have enough for everybody to be ULXD, and I think we have four, six, 58. So that's kind of cool. Hey, while I'm talking about this, also note that you can unscrew the top of the KSM9 and switch the mic between super card and card. So that's pretty useful, depending on your wedge positioning, how you might want that. All right, considering I have the uh, KSM9 in my hand, let's battery this up. I'm gonna unscrew the bottom part, pop it off. Do note this little piece here is pretty fragile. We've had to send a few back to sure to get fixed. They're a couple hundred bucks, that's not fun. Be careful with it. When you put the battery in, there's a little groove right there in the back. That groove respond, mates up with the, the gap here on the back of the battery. And in the battery goes, you should see white. You should be able to read sure. And uh, you can put it backwards, so don't. Um, the, uh, the springs on the bottom line up with the negative terminals, you, and it's, it's pretty obvious, I think. I've, I don't know, obvious to me at least. Put it in. The, the, un, the mic will either turn on automatically or you might have to turn it on depending on the status of the mic. It could be power locked, um, and power locking you can figure out yourself, but it, it, you, you power lock it here. Never, ever start a show without a power locked microphone. Oh, how do you power lock? I guess I should show that in this video. I have not rehearsed this. Let's see how well I go. Right now it's power locked. I'm gonna click that tab. I'm going to go to utility. I'm going to click over and I'm gonna to go to lock and I'm clicking, when I click over, I'm clicking the little button to the right and then power unlock. I'm gonna click it to the right one more time and that didn't work. Let's try it again, down to utility to the right to lock. I'm gonna go down, menu lock, power lock. Let's go to power lock and go on. Did I power lock? Jeez, I shouldn't have made this video without rehearsing this. I have power locked it, so I did do the right thing. So never, ever, ever start a show without the thing power lock because you don't want the artist to be able to turn the mic off. Okay, that's not in the practical exam, but that's a pretty useful thing to know, so I stuck it in this video, hope you don't mind. On the ULXT pack here, Real simple as well. Do note, you are gonna have to connect an antenna, right? Look for one that's got yellow on the end, then you know it's in the right frequency range. Screw that on, that's pretty easy. And then let's uh, put the battery in, same thing. You've got a you know, little raised edge on the back. You got a little groove on the back of the battery. Mate them with the, uh, you wanna, wanna see white and you want the Sure logo to be up and that puts the uh, battery in correctly. In it goes, no problem. And of course, you probably have a lav or a headset mic. You gotta, you gotta use the little miniature XLR T4 connector. Be careful, the pins are fragile, but there's a little tab on the top there. You gotta line the tab up with the little groove in there. And the button here, the little black button faces towards you. In it goes, and we can press the button when we wanna remove it, we're already there. Um, that's the ULXD and batteries. 
Uh, let's look at the back of the unit and get the antennas connected. Hope this video is not getting too long. Connect antenna on the back, the antennas connect to the distributor. They come from the connector and they go to these two white positions. This is antenna A and B. It doesn't matter what's A and what's B, you can get them backwards. Um, but this is, gives you diversity so you can evolve multi-path, right? Two antennas get you best possible reception. So I'm gonna put in the BNC. If you haven't done this before, the BNC, you have to turn it so you can align the tabs up and then you press it in and rotate it and it locks. So I'm gonna then run this up here to, to one of our paddle antennas and uh, in it goes, same sort of thing, line the tabs up push it in, turn it, it locks. Gonna do the same thing here with the other antenna cable and I'm going to put it in, rotate it, press it in, it's locked. And of course, it doesn't matter which way, in it goes and locked, good. Excellent work. You can always see with the little green light that it indeed has a bias voltage present. That's good for this video.